we performed our motion to close the executive session in the room. Therefore, we're right back to regular meeting at this point in time. So we'll move on to number three, reading of the privilege of the floor regulations. The privilege of the floor shall be extended to any person appearing for themselves, in which case the individual shall be limited to three minutes, and to any person representing a group who shall be limited to five minutes. When recognized, please stand and state your name and address. The city clerk shall have the duty of maintaining such time limits, and the councilman at large may determine in his discretion whether individuals are speaking for themselves or representing groups. Councilman at large volition shall maintain good order and may require any speaker to cease speaking if remarks are made in bad taste or are slanderous or not germane to any action taken or contemplated by council. The time limits specified shall be strictly adhered to, except that a speaker may be allowed to complete a statement or thought started before such time has expired. With that being said, privilege of the floor is now open. If anybody wishes to speak, please step forward to the podium and state your name and address. <laughs> Hello again, I'm Clinton Lewis, and I'm here to represent the Humane Society Dog Walk Committee. And you have before you a uh, resolution that we're going to need, we're hoping for a bandstand, um, a loudspeaker permit, uh, let's see what else, a couple other things. Oh, fencing, that's probably my biggest concern. But I'd just like to thank everybody. Uh, I've had several people I've talked to that helped me out get ideas. Councilman Civiletto took time. The mayor yesterday took time. Uh, the chief, Orlando, was busy. He still took time to talk to me. Now, I had all these forms to fill out, and being that I was just a band director, it's a bit confusing. The clerk's office was amazing to me. I mean, I, I felt so good going in. It was like almost a joy. Usually it's, oh, i got to pay the dog thing. i got to pay this. No, this time it was. And they, they helped me through all the things, how to do it right, so it doesn't try to make too many questions. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have our annual walk. Now, for 14 years, they did it out of Point Gratiot. This year, we're going to try something different. We're going to do it in the neighborhood around our adoption center. We found that a lot of people don't know where it is until I mentioned it's over by the old M. Wild plant, and then they go, oh, okay. So we're going to have the walk around, and that'll start at 10. And anybody here is welcome. If you have a dog, come bring it. And uh, next, after the dog walk at 11 o'clock, we're going to try something absolutely new. We're going to have a festival called Wolfstock. Okay, yeah, we, he's got it. Took <laughs> off on Woodstock, meaning it's the 50th year. And so we're going to have that a, fest, a family festival. Because at the Lakeshore Humane Society, it's like all about family. I've never seen a group of people of diverse things that were just like family, taking care of animals. And we're going to have a family-friendly thing with some food, uh, food truck and some other kinds of food. We're going to try to get crafters and vendors. We're going to have carnival games for kids, uh, possibly a bounce house, and then we're going to have a DJ and some live music. We've got a couple people who might come up and sing and do some other things to make it a whole from 11 to 3, a family event for Dunkirk at our adoption center. In the adoption center, we can have pictures about what it looks like. They are talking about expanding. We're going to have, uh, the mayor said we could have a diagram of what we're going to do over at the dog park and the new shelter. And uh, the mayor graciously said he'd come and start the parade for us and in the festivities. And he could tell the people about the new dog park and all that. And there's going to be a table there for the city so they can start signing people up to go to the dog park. And again, I just want to thank you all for everything you've made just wonderful you know i hear everybody complain about dunkirk but i'll tell you you guys and gals have really made dunkirk a great place to live i love walking my dog around the city now it's really coming back to life so thank you very much i hope to see you on june 15th 10 o'clock thank you thank you mr thank you. lewis Anybody else wishing to speak, please step forward to the microphone and state your name and address. 
Last opportunity. Anybody else wishing to speak, please step forward to the microphone, state your name and address. Seeing none, privilege of the floor is now closed. Communications from the mayor, including disapproval messages. Mayor. Mr. Chairman, I just have one quick uh, announcement for council members. If you did make it to the comprehensive plan presentation this past week, it was very well attended. Considering the circumstances with the weather and all, I thought it was uh, very well attended and a good uh, presentation done by our consultants. I'd like to, uh, again, thank our uh, development director uh, for the hard work, time, and effort her and her staff did uh, and, and put in for that comprehensive plan presentation. Uh, sometimes there's a lot of work that gets done behind the scenes and people don't get acknowledged for it, so just wanted to publicly acknowledge that. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Communications from the public and petitions. Clerk? Number one, request from the Northern Chautauqua Soccer Association proposing that the open space, the city park located at North Pangolin Street be seasonally converted to a soccer field. The proposed partnership would give NCSA access to the space three to four times per week from 6 p.m. till 7.30 p.m. from May 1st, 2019 through August 31st, 2019. Any discussion, Council? Uh, I'm looking for a motion to refer this to the Recreation Department, the DPW Department, the Parks Department, the Law Department, and the Development Department. So moved. Councilman Williams with the first. Councilmember Monto with the second. Clerk, call the roll. Councilmember Williams. Aye. Councilmember Bamanto. Aye. Councilmember Heenan. Aye. Councilmember Savaletto. Aye. Councilmember at Large Volusia. Aye. Number two, request from the Dunkirk Travelers 11U Travel Baseball Team to use Promenchenko Stadium for a prospective schedule of eight games and possible additional game <coughs> dates depending on weather and other circumstances in the 2019 season. Uh, any discussion, Council? Motion to refer this to the Recreation Department. So moved. Councilman Williams with the first. Second. Councilman Bamanto with the second. Clerk, call the roll. Councilmember Williams. Aye. Councilmember Bamanto. Aye. Councilmember Heenan. Aye. Councilmember Civiletto. Aye. Councilmember at Large Washington. Aye. Number three, request from King Street residents asking that the brick street between West Benton Street and Tenney Street not be paved over as proposed in a list of streets to be repaved in the city in 2019. This request will be received and filed. Number four. Request from Samantha Vacanti on behalf of Pitching for Paws to hold their third annual Pitching for Paws co-ed softball tournament at Promenchenko Stadium and Cooks Field in Point Gratiot on Saturday, June 29, 2019, rain date June 30th, 2019. Any discussion, Council? Looking for a motion to refer this to the appropriate departments as well as approve subject to appropriate insurances and usual conditions. Councilman Bamanto with the first, Councilman Williams with the second. Clerk, call the roll. Councilmember Williams. Aye. Councilmember Bamanto. Aye. Councilmember Heenan. Aye. Councilmember Silvalero. Aye. Councilmember at Large Washington. Aye. Number five, request from the Lakeshore Humane Society Dog Walk Committee for tables, a bandstand, and fencing for use at their annual dog walk and their first Wolfstock Family Festival on Saturday, June 15, 2019, at the Lakeshore Humane Society Adoption Center, 431 East Chestnut Street. Any discussion? I need a motion to refer this to the appropriate departments as well as approve it subject to appropriate insurances and usual conditions. So moved. Councilman Williams with the first. Councilmember Bamanto with the second. Clerk, call the roll. Councilmember Williams. Aye. Councilmember Bamanto. Aye. Councilmember Heenan. Aye. Councilmember Civiletto. Oof. I mean, yeah, aye. <laughs> Councilmember at Large Volusia. Aye. <laughs> Number six. Notice of claim from Chris Rivera of 92 Westeria Drive, Fredonia, New York, for alleged damages to his tires after hitting a pothole on February 18, 2019, at approximately 11 a.m. at Waldorf Road and Central Avenue. I need a motion to refer this to the law department. First. Councilman Bamanto with second. the first. Councilman Williams with the second. Clerk, call the roll. Councilmember Williams. Aye. Councilmember Bamanto. Aye. Councilmember Heenan. Aye. Councilmember Civiletto. Aye. Councilmember at Large Washington. Aye. Number seven, notice of claim from Corinne Simano of 85 Greenwood Avenue, Lackawanna, New York, for alleged damages to the undercover of her car on the driveway of 130 Middle Road on February 2nd, 2019, allegedly caused by ice from a leaking fire hydrant. Any discussion? Need a motion to refer this to the law department? First. Councilman second. Civiletto with the first. Councilman Williams with the second. Clerk, call the roll. Councilmember Williams. Aye. Councilmember Bamanto. Aye. Councilmember Heenan. Aye. Councilmember Civiletto. Aye. Councilmember at Large Washington. Aye. 
We have four loudspeaker applications before us. The clerk is going to read all four of them off individually. However, since there was no discussion, questions, or concerns during the workshop session on any of them, we will be grouping for one vote, one motion, um, and one discussion. Clerk? A. Miriam Lugo Alfaro, on behalf of local churches to use microphone speakers and live music in front of City Hall on May 2nd, 2019 from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. during the annual National Day of Prayer event. B, the Northern Chautauqua Conservation Club Incorporated to use live band speakers and radio from May 20th, 2019 through October 1st, 2019 for events during the 2019 season. C, the Pitching for Paws co-ed softball tournament to use a DJ, microphone, and speakers at their third annual tournament on Saturday, June 29, 2019, rain date June 30, 2019. D, the Lakeshore Humane Society to use speakers and loud and sound system on Saturday, June 15, 2019 from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Any discussion, council? Seeing none, I need a motion to refer this to the appropriate departments as well as approve subject to appropriate insurances and usual conditions. So moved. Councilman Williams with the first. Second. Councilmember Bamanto with the second. Clerk, call the roll. Councilmember Williams. Aye. Councilmember Bamanto. Aye. Councilmember Heenan. Aye. Councilmember Civiletto. Aye. Councilmember Elijah Bawashi. Aye. Reports of standing committees, boards, and commissions. Councilman Williams. I uh, just wanted to say I, I did attend the uh, Monday session of the comprehensive plan open house at the, that we had at the high school. Uh, very informative. Um, I was unable to make it on Wednesday, but uh, I think I enough of what, what we had over there on Monday, uh, good job. Um, also, I want to say to Mr. Lewis, I love the name of the, the Wolfstock. <laughs> I've been laughing since I, I got my uh, council packet last week, so uh, I'll definitely try to get there. And uh, I think that's about all I have. The weather hasn't been over 50 degrees yet, so I won't bother Randy too much today about that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Councilman Williams. Councilman Bomanto. Yes, there will be a... Personnel meeting next Tuesday, 4 o'clock. It's going to be at the rec center, which is at the fairgrounds in the old world ring. So it'll be open to the public, so you can come in here and see what we got going on up there and listen to the meeting. Um, Randy, can you get it clear to the people on King Street what happened with the, the brick road? Sure. Uh, the uh, DPW committee... Uh, wanted an inventory of brick streets and we presented that. Uh, I wasn't at the meeting, but I know that uh, our engineering technician presented that list and we're not ready to make a decision on paving of roads, but we're getting close. We always like to wait to see what the weather, the winter does to the roads before we make that decision. So um, I've already got, Councilman Williams has given me his list preliminarily and I'd like the rest of the council to do that and when the mayor and I will chew on that and uh so to speak miss councilman wolf and uh <laughs> and, we'll, and we'll make the right uh, choice uh, on those but uh the road on uh, uh king street is uh, like i said an 80 year old uh fdr wpa project that's still in very good shape because the underground infrastructure is good so the misunderstanding that we had Got the neighbors out. I just I apologized to the neighbor, uh, one of the residents. She said it actually turned out to be nice. She got the they're going to form a block party and and they got to meet the neighbors. So and and their involvement in the community is uh, very well respected. So uh, it we don't like to see that all the time, but that that's what that that's essentially what happened. Thank you. Yep. I also attended a comprehensive uh, open house at the Dunker High School Monday and Wednesday. And it was well attended considering the weather on Monday, school was closed, a lot of people came. And Wednesday, the weather was kind of even worse. And a lot of people there was well organized, thanking the mayor and the staff for a job well done. That's all I had. Thank you, Councilman Bamanto. Councilman Heenan? Nothing this evening, sir. Councilman Civiletto? Um, also want to say thank you to uh, putting together that comprehensive plan. I've been on the comprehensive plan committee and uh, We've been coming up with a lot of um, good ideas for the city and what we want to see in the future. And I've been talking to some constituents and, and trying to express <coughs> their concerns as well. Um, Thank you. And Thank it was you. really nice to bless you. Thank you. <laughs> it was really nice to to see the community come out um, 
for the, the actual um, open meetings too and have the, the gentlemen there that were, and, and it was just gentlemen, there was no, was there any women there? I don't want to say just gentlemen. Yeah, it was, because there are women on the, on the, um, Individuals. Yeah. It, You're well, thanking there, the individuals. There were, yeah, there you go. There are, there are women not, that are actually working on this as well, but I don't think they should, they were there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, there were people there. Um, and uh, they came from Buffalo and they, you know, represented the, the company well. Um, just wanted to uh, say next Wednesday we're having a, a public safety committee meeting at 4 o'clock in the um, in this mayor's conference center or conference room. Um, I was asked to also announce that the community advisory committee um, is canceled next week. Um, but I did want to, I go to every one of their, well not everyone, but almost every one of their meetings and um, there's been an issue um, that they're starting to fire up and I'd, I'd like my councilman to think about how we can, um, how we can kind of attack it. Uh, the internet, uh, our website is um, a big concern of the, of the committee. Um, they think that it needs to be um, revamped, if not started from scratch. It's a 15-year-old website that just, I don't think, that they don't think um, is something that uh, serves the community well, um, well enough. And um, right now, the problem is, as you know, if we were to attack the website as far as trying to fix it, we don't know what department it's under and we don't know what committee to talk to because our committees were formed in 1979 and there was no such thing as an internet. So we don't even know who to go to. So um, that's something that I'd like the council to think about uh, where they would place that, who, who has jurisdiction um, for that committee. Um, but beyond that, uh, I guess I'm... I'm done. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Civiletto. A um, couple things. Uh, this past week, we had a very bad windstorm in the city of Dunkirk, and overall, I think uh, our emergency services. I want to thank you guys for everything that you did during those tough times. I think the city of Dunkirk got pretty much unscathed, with maybe a couple trees and one building. Um, but that's what brings me to Glen. Glen, uh, that building that had the entire roof blow off on Franklin Avenue, I see a wall do is down now on it as well, on the west side of it. Can you please give us an update as to what's going to happen with that building? Yes. It's, as of 5 p.m., it was cleared for as, as asbestos-free, and I expect that the demolition will start in the morning. T but tomorrow morning? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you very much, Glenn. Appreciate that. And then also just to remind everybody, it's Girl Scout cookie season, so make sure you pick up your Girl Scout cookies wherever they may be, especially in freezing weather like it was today. Um, that is all I have. We'll move on to unfinished business, number 14. 14, resolution for intro number one to local law number 1-2019 changing master electrician test. I need a motion to take this off the table. So moved. Councilman Williams with the first. Councilman Civiletto with the second. We will take roll call on taking it off the table. Council Member Williams? Aye. Council Member Bamanto? Aye. Council Member Heenan? Aye. Council Member Civiletto? Aye. Council Member at Large Washington? Aye. Resolution is now off the table and open for discussion. Council, any discussion? Councilman Williams? Yeah, I want to ask the same questions just to get them on, on our <coughs> record in the minutes. Um, first question I have is uh, will the current license holders be grandfathered in to the new requirements? That's correct. There will be. Okay, thank you. Uh, second question I have is, uh, what will be the fee? The fees will remain the same. That's not changing. All we're changing is the exam itself. Okay. Uh, At least for now. That's okay. subject to revisit by the council. Yes. Uh, number, the third question I have is, uh, will Dunkirk accept a uh, license from other municipalities that require the ICC test as long as the annual fee is paid and proof of testing requirement is provided. And that's, that's affirmative as well. Having the standardized test actually facilitates that and allows that to happen more easily. Okay, and then uh, who will be enforcing the license requirement? That would be the Dunkirk Electrical Board. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion on resolution number 14? Seeing none, clerk call the roll. Council Member Williams? Aye. 
Council Member Bamanto? Aye. Council Member Heenan? Aye. Council Member Civiletto? Aye. Council Member Elijah Wishon? Aye. Number 15, resolution for intro number two to local law number 2 2019, the sewer usage rate for high threshold usage. I need a motion to take this off the table. Councilman Civiletto with the first, second. Councilman Williams with the second. Clerk, call the roll on taking it off the table. Councilmember Williams. Aye. Councilmember Bamanto. Aye. Councilmember Heenan. Aye. Councilmember Civiletto. Aye. Councilmember Elijah Wesha. Aye. Resolution is now off the table. Any discussion on the resolution? No discussion. Clerk, call the roll. Councilmember Williams. Aye. Councilmember Bamanto. Aye. Councilmember Heenan. Aye. Councilmember Civiletto. Aye. Councilmember Elijah Wesha. Aye. Number nine, pre file resolutions. 16, resolution authorizing budget line modifications for fiscal year 2019. Any discussion, Council? Clerk, call the roll. Council Member Williams? Aye. Council Member Bamanto? Aye. Council Member Heenan? Aye. Council Member Civiletto? Aye. Council Member Elijah Aye. Number 17. 17, resolution authorizing execution of boardwalk lease for new tenant Karan Waller doing business as La Dolce Vita. Any discussion, Council? Councilman Williams? I'd just like to point out that Mrs. Waller is in attendance today. If anybody had any questions, uh, her and her family are here, uh, they can ask those questions of her. Does any council or department heads have any questions for Kern pertaining to her new business? Any discussion? I have a couple questions not pertaining to Kern specifically. Um, I will be voting yes on this. I love the idea, uh, as we did discuss it during the DLDC. Um, but I did notice during the packet that we got handed out, it says the lease is attached and there wasn't anything attached. Yes, it was put in the file, but it was just a miscommunication with the clerk's office. I didn't, I didn't specifically say, please print this out with the packet. Okay. I know former Councilwoman Stacy Shukawa would not vote on a resolution unless the numbers were in the resolution. So can we be guaranteed that that lease is going to be attached to this resolution so the numbers will yes. be on file with it in a Not permanent a basis? Yep. Okay, so in case anybody wants to reference it. Okay. And one of my other suggestions, and I should have mentioned this, it was mentioned previously at DLDC stuff, but not the most current one. Um, I'm not gonna be here next year, so whatever you guys plan on doing, but just a, a suggestion, I know Hector spends a lot of time uh, trying to find new tenants when there is turnover. And he said at the DLDC meeting that there was 17 applicants for this and it was narrowed down to 10 and then narrowed down and narrowed down. Um, in the past, it has been brought up by council people in previous administrations and public and things of that nature that maybe within the DLDC form a subcommittee of individuals who could possibly pick the next tenant. Actually, um, actually it, would be, us, right? it would be the city of Dunkirk because yeah. the property is actually owned by the city of Dunkirk. So yeah. we could form an advisory, an ad hoc advisory committee to the council or something like that. That's just so it's not all on one person's shoulders. It's not a bad idea to consider, something we'd have to consider internally. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I wouldn't have any problem with that. I think we've had this discussion over the years. Yeah. Uh, the way it's been done, pretty much mayor is making this, these decisions. I assign somebody and we run it that way. But uh, I have, uh, I'm not opposed to having some form of a committee, you know, formed and, and you know, take care of that. Yeah, it doesn't have to be an outside thing. Just of individuals made up on the so it takes the pressure off of all of Hector so and yourself Correct. right the, the the only issue we have really for me has been that uh, I have a vision of what we want to see there and and, uh, and we need to make sure that that vision is followed for the city uh, the city residents would like to see and have a boardwalk where we have uh, families who have children could come out and the children could uh, enjoy an ice cream for example while the parents can indulge a little bit. So uh, these are uh, issues that I uh, have been, you know, making sure are taken care of. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, clerk call the roll. Council Member Williams? Aye. Council Member Bamanto? Aye. Council Member Heenan? Aye. Council Member Civiletto? Aye. Council Member at Large Washington? Aye. Welcome aboard, Kern. Good luck. Thank you. Number 18. Resolution for a general construction change order for water treatment plant improvements. Any discussion? Councilman Williams. Just refer to Randy. <laughs> sure. Uh, 
Shall I explain it? Yeah. yeah. I'd like to uh, thank the mayor and Councilman Williams for uh, being the leaders uh, along with help from development with Rebecca and Hector on green energy. And even though this is the first step to put in the efficient uh, pump number four in to replace the, the one that's broken down. Additionally, we're gonna be able to reprogram some money and put solar panels on a new roof at the, uh, at the Highland pump station. And uh, the people I mentioned were the leaders in making that happen. And DPW certainly is well on board um, with the movement toward alternative energy. So I just, this is the beginning of that. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Randy. Anything else? No? Clerk, call the roll. Council Member Williams? Aye. Council Member Bamanto? Aye. Council Member Heenan? Aye. Council Member Civiletto? Aye. Council Member Elijah Washington? Aye. Any new business? Any walk ins? <clears throat> Seeing none, motion to adjourn. So moved. Councilman Williams with the first. Aye. Councilman Civiletto. Yes. Civiletto with the second. Aye. Clerk, call the roll. Council Member Williams. Aye. Council Member Bomanto. Aye. Council Member Heenan. Aye. Council Member Civiletto. Aye. Council Member Elijah Washington. Aye. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>